This is Photography 101. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create an inspirational photo and then turn it into a video for Instagram. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And today's episode is gonna be so fun because we're gonna be making an inspirational quote image, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over social media. Basically got an image and a quote, make it look all nice. And then we're gonna be turning it into a video because people love videos. And then we're gonna show you basically how to save it out of Photoshop, and then you can upload it to Instagram. All right, guys, we got a bunch to cover. It's gonna be a great episode. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop, and you guys can download this image on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below or click on that card on your screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to File, and I'm gonna go down to New. We need to create a new document here, and we want this to be sized perfectly for Instagram. So the perfect size for Instagram is gonna be 1080 by 1080. Okay, you don't wanna make it too small or it's gonna be uh, have poor resolution. So let's go ahead and hit create there. So this is going to be our main document. Now I'm gonna use my move tool here and we're gonna click and drag our image that uh, you can download this on Flurn again or you can use your own image, whatever you have. So let's click and drag our image right here onto our new canvas. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller. So let's hit F for full screen because this is all I wanna see. And I'm gonna make my image smaller, but before I do this, I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. So let's right click here, and I'm gonna go to convert to small object, or smart object, not small object. That way, if I need to make it bigger again, I won't lose any definition. So let's hit Control or Command T for transform. I'm gonna click on my little chain link here, and we're just gonna make that nice and small. There we go. And hold the Shift key down just to maintain the aspect ratio as you move your image around. Okay, that looks great. So we've got our image basically in place on our 1080 by 1080 pixel background. Now it's time to add some text. All right guys, so let's jump in and we're gonna be creating some text. Now before I create my text, I'm gonna create a solid black layer that's just gonna allow me to focus on my text for a minute. So let's go to our adjustment layers. I'm gonna go to solid color and we're gonna go all the way down here to black. There we go, that looks great. And then I'm gonna hit T for my type tool. Let's go ahead and click on our image. And I'm gonna be using a quote by Michael Jordan. So we're gonna say, don't be afraid to fail. There we go. And let's go ahead and duplicate this text here. All right, and we'll just drag it down. Double click on there and we're gonna say, be afraid to not try. There we go. I'll just add a period to the end of fail. All right, and we're going to do one more thing real quick. We're just gonna duplicate that again, and I'm gonna make sure to type in Michael Jordan. Anytime you guys are uh, using a quote, be sure, to, uh, be sure to say who the quote actually is by. Okay, so now we can actually make our text larger and smaller because we don't want it to all be the same size. So I'm gonna hold the Shift key down. We're gonna click on our Move tool and hold the Shift key down and click on one of the edges there Okay, and that's gonna scale our text smaller in one way, but if you hold down Shift and Option, there we go. Sorry, there we go. If you hold down Shift and Option, basically it's going to scale your text both ways. Okay, so it's a really nice way to see how this compares to other uh, lines of text. All right, and let's go ahead and make these two just a little bit bigger as well. Okay, this looks great. Now, the this type here, be afraid to not try, we're gonna go ahead and change the weight. So go to window and down to character. Make sure you have your character window visible. And I'm gonna change my weight on this font down to black. All right, so you can see we're using the font Lato right now. We're, uh, we're using white as our color and you can change your different weights. Now not every single font is gonna allow you to change your weights, but if you do have a font uh, that's like a, a, a well-installed font or you're using something from uh, Adobe type kit, you should be able to choose different weights. Okay, that looks great. So everything looks good, but I need to center align all of my text because it's just, it's off to the left there. So we're gonna hit Control or Command A to select all. You can also go to select and then down to all here. Okay, and then I'm gonna shift click on all my layers. We're gonna click on our move tool and then I'm gonna click on the center align there. 
And that's going to align everything to the center, which is exactly what I want. OK, that looks great. Now, we're just going to take our, uh, we're just going to reorder these real quick. There we go. And now these two, I'm going to bring down. So I'm going to hold Shift, click on both of those layers. I'm on my Move tool here. And if I just click here and bring this down, it's not going to stay in the very center, right? Which we don't want. So be sure to hold down Shift and click and drag it. And that's going to make sure you're just going to go up and down. There we go. OK, there we are. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid to not try. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's just bring that down just a little bit more, the Michael Jordan. All right, cool. So basically what we have now is we have just our text on a black layer. So we're off to a really good start. This is a great, I highly suggest doing your text just on black to start with. And that just gives you a little bit better of an idea of how the text is actually laid out. So now what we're going to do is reduce the opacity of that black layer. We're going to be done with our image and then we're going to be turning it into an animation. Okay, so jumping back in, we're going to go to our color fill layer here. Now, my suggestion here is just go ahead and lower your opacity and try to find an opacity that works for you. Now, again, if you have white text here, like if I just make this layer invisible, you kind of can't read this text, right? So if you do have white text over your image, this could be a good opportunity for you to create one of these black layers and just change your opacity so you can actually read what's going on. Okay, and in this case, it looks like opacity about 20% looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click on my image and we're just going to scale this just a little bit. I just want to make sure that, uh, it, you know, kind of works with, uh, there we go, kind of works with what we're doing here. So I'm just holding the shift key to scale this a little bit larger or smaller. There we go. And cool. I think that totally works right about there. Maybe bring that off to the left a little bit. All right. Great. Now, keep in mind, we made that a smart object, right? So making that a little bit larger didn't actually lose any resolution, which is exactly what we want. OK, so here's our image. It's pretty cool. If you guys just wanted to save this as just a photograph to put on Instagram or whatever, that's totally cool. But we're going to take this one step further. We're actually going to be making this into an animation. So let's jump in. We're going to show you how to do that right now. So making animations in Photoshop is actually really, really easy to do. We're going to go up to Window and down to Timeline. There we go. And here in our timeline, let's just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So we want a good idea of what we're doing. We're going to just zoom out of our image a little bit. All right. Now we have a few different options within our timeline. You can create a video timeline or a frame animation. Now, if you guys are making like an animated GIF, you want to use a frame animation. But in this case, I want to do some like fades and things like that. So we want to use a video timeline. So let's go to create a video timeline. Basically, how this works is all of your layers that you see right here load up as layers in your video timeline. So for instance, you can scrub across your video timeline. There we go. And we see there's no change at all in our image, right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to just grab this. Don't be afraid to fail. We're just going to grab this and I'm going to pull this to the right a little bit. There we go. And you're going to see it's going to disappear. So basically, it's not visible here. And then it becomes visible right about there. And it just continues to be visible to the end of our animation. OK, so that's how it works. Basically, you're just choosing the visibility based on time with your animation. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and start off with just our image. OK, just our image. And then we're just going to push all these to the right right now so we can just kind of like design this a little bit. So just our image. And then I want the black to come in. Yep. And then I want it to say, don't be afraid to fail. That's perfect. Yep. And then we're going to want it to say, be afraid to not try. So let's bring that over to the left. And then we'll say Michael Jordan as, as the le very last thing. OK. So let's just kind of scrub through and make sure everything's going in the right order. So there we have our image. And then it's going to turn black. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid to not try. And then Michael Jordan. And we'll put that to the right a little bit. Now I'm just going to hit this play icon real quick. And this will give us an idea in real speed how it, how it actually moves. OK, so you can kind of decide like, all right. And in this case, I'm like, you know what? This is taking a little bit too long for that to show up. So let's go ahead and bring it a little bit closer. There we go. And we'll just try that. So let's hit the play button one more time. Okay, that's pretty good. 
Now, it's relatively simple at this point. We're gonna just step it up a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of a transition. So these elements will fade in rather than just appearing. It's super easy to do. So basically, we're gonna go back to our little transition icon right here. So we're gonna click here, just simply click there and you can click choose between fade, cross fade, fade with black, fade with white, fade with color, things like that. In this case, we're just gonna use fade and you can change your duration as well. So right now the default is set to one second. So let's go ahead and just click and drag our fade. There we go, one second fade on all these and we can change the duration at any time. So we're just basically clicking and dragging this to the, um, to the animation, to the start of the animation. So let's bring this back to the beginning again. I'm gonna hit play, and here we can see it kind of fades in. Those fades are taking way too long. So I'm gonna click right here on the fade itself and just shorten that up. It's a little bit like boring, you know, it's like, oh, just show me the thing already. All right, let's go ahead and bring those back up. Let's take our timeline back to the beginning and hit play again. All right. We're looking better. So let's just adjust our time a little bit more. There we go. I want our fades to be a little bit shorter again and go back to the beginning. So it's super easy to adjust. There we go. And we're gonna bring this one in and you're gonna come out this way a little bit. Super easy to adjust. And again, you can just kind of scrub along your timeline and see what you're doing. All right, let's hit play one more time. Cool. And you know what? I think our uh, the black layer, I think we could make this 30% uh, opacity. So I'm going to just type in 30. There we go. Just to make it a little bit darker. All right. And hit play one more time. All right. Let's stretch out this transition just a little bit. Cool. Obviously this is like totally up to you guys, right? Like you can decide your own length and how like how everything fits together and whatnot. Um, I just wanna make sure that it, you know, has a nice flow to it. Cool. All right, we're almost done guys. Almost done with our video here. So let's hit play there one more time. All right, cool. I think that looks great. So. Basically, we just created an animation in Photoshop, which is really, really cool. Any still image that you have, any layered image that you have, you can turn into an animation just like this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna export it out. So my goal for this is to go on Instagram and Instagram does not support animated GIFs. So we don't wanna export this out as an animated GIF. We wanna render this out as a video and then we can send it to our phone and then upload it to Instagram. So let's show you how to Actually, let's show you how to export out an animated video in Photoshop. So to export out our video, we're gonna to go to File, we're gonna go down to Export, and we're gonna go over here to Render Video. All right, so Render Video, you're gonna have a bunch of options in your Render Video timeline. Basically, it's gonna ask you how you wanna render this out. Now, I suggest using the Adobe Media Encoder and using H.264. Okay, H.264, and then you should be able to use basically all of your, uh, basically all of your standard uh, settings here when they load up with H.264. Now I'm gonna choose our desktop, there we go, and we're just gonna call this Instagram Inspiration. Okay, pretty cool. Let's hit render there, and you can see this is really quick. It takes just a couple of seconds to actually render this out. So now let's go ahead and jump into Finder. All right, we're just gonna click and I'm gonna go into Finder. We're gonna go to a new Finder window. There we go. And here in our desktop, we can see our Instagram inspiration. I'm just gonna hit the space bar there. It's gonna start playing and there we go. This is our video. We just made this in Photoshop. I'm gonna hit play one more time because I'm super proud of this and I wanna see it again. <laughs> Okay, so basically our video is totally done guys. So the next step is just to get this what is on your computer onto your phone because if you're going to be uploading to Instagram, you have to upload this from your phone. So a few suggestions, you can email it to yourself and then save it from an email. You can text it to yourself and save it from a text. If you're using Macs, you can airdrop this. You can also use programs like Hootsuite to schedule this out as well. So you can schedule it out on your computer and then send it to your mobile device. So there are a bunch of different ways, but just keep in mind, you gotta get it from your computer on your mobile phone 
post it as a video and you're good to go guys. All right, that's all there is to creating an inspirational video in Photoshop. So if you guys wanna do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, be sure to create a 1080 by 1080 pixel square. This is gonna be the perfect size for Instagram. Next, go ahead and load your image into the background. Be sure to make it a smart object and then transform it to the size you'd like. Now, my suggestion is to create a black background and in this case, we're using white text. So go ahead and design the text how you want it to look. Go ahead and choose different font weights for the type. This is just gonna be a little bit more interesting to look at. Now, you can lower the opacity of that black layer, which will allow your image to show through. So once you're done with your image, it's time to turn this into a video. Go to Window and down to Timeline, and here you can create a video timeline. Now, basically, just click and drag on the length of each individual layer, and that's gonna choose how they become visible in the timeline. To add a transition, simply click on the transition box. In this case, we used fade and just simply click and drag onto each individual layer. You can change the length of transitions and change how long your actual clips will play in your video. And when you're done with your video, go to file, down to export, and over to render video. Here you can set it out as an MP4. I highly suggest using H.264. And once you're done, you can go ahead and upload it to your phone and send it off to Instagram. All right, guys, that's all there is to creating an inspirational video for Instagram. Now, don't forget, you can download this source image on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below and share your work on flurn so everyone can see how amazing you are. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. We did it! Yeah. Community. Yeah.